Hey, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's nail tutorial, we're challenging Erin to find some really odd household items to try and create some cute nail art designs with. We hope you enjoy these fun nail hacks. For this first nail, I'm using a comb and I'm going to use the teeth of the comb as a dotting tool. So I'm doing a dot here by taking a few different shades of purple and doing dots that get smaller and more sparse as they get towards my cuticle. Concentrate most of the dots towards the bottom of your nail. And once you're happy with the dot here, apply a top coat. For this next nail, I'm starting with a green base. And then I'm taking this random screw that I found around my house. And I'm using the end of the screw as a very fine dotting tool. With some white nail polish, I'm doing five little white dots in a circle and then filling in the center to make daisies. And then I'm going back in with the screw again and a yellow nail polish to add centers to each of the flowers. And finishing with the top coat. For this next nail, I'm doing some color blocking using duct tape. So I'm sticking the duct tape firmly down onto my nail. Then I'm painting over it using a pink nail polish, and while the polish is still wet, I'm peeling off that tape. Then I'm applying a top coat and adding a stud for a little accent. For this next nail, I'm starting off with a sky blue base. And then the next household item you can use is a paper clip, so I'm just bending one end and using that as a dotting tool to make some little clouds over the blue. And then of course just finishing with a top coat. For my next nail I'm starting off with a teal base. Then I'm taking just a regular pen and I'm going to use the end of this pen to make some dots. So with a darker teal I'm taking the end of the pen and I'm making a scalloped edge on my nail and finishing with a top coat. This nail is going to be a splatter nail, so I'm starting with a white base. And the next household item you can use is a toothbrush. So either dipping that into some paint or nail polish, if you just run your finger along the bristles of the brush, you can make splatter nails. This can get a little messy, but you can clean it up with acetone and a cotton swab. And finish off with top coat. This next nail I'm painting light pink. And then I'm going to be using a binder clip, so it's just a little office supply that you can use for nail art. If you take out one of the ends of the clip, there is a end that's perfect for a dotting tool. So here I'm just using it to make some little hearts on that nail. And finishing with a top coat. And for this nail, I'm starting with a teal base. Then I'm taking this button that I found and I'm using the pin of the button to make some dots all along the edge of my nail with gold nail polish. and finishing with a layer of top coat. Now I'm applying a green base again. 
And then I was inspired by dried flower nails, so I decided to take some leaves from a plant around my house and just use those on my nails. So if you have any succulents or small plants or flowers, this is a super easy way to incorporate them into your nail art. Stick them down into a layer of top coat, and then once that's dry, seal them in again with another layer of top coat. For this nail, I'm starting by painting it purple. And then I'm using a toothbrush again to do some dry brush nails. So I'm dipping the toothbrush into some nail polish or paint, and then you can rub the toothbrush along your nail just lightly to create this kind of interesting dry brush pattern. And there you have 10 nails using odd household items. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from Q Polish, you can click the boxes here and click the circle here to subscribe to Q Polish for a new video every week. You can also subscribe to my personal nail art channel by clicking the circle here.